We hadn't been here, so it's, uh, we want to thank the folks for bringing us. As, a, as the fellow said there, uh, we're the Hillbilly Gypsies. We, we've made our way up from uh, from uh, West Virginia, around the Morgantown area. Uh, before sunlight today, I spent an hour under the van, broke down on the side of the road, just to get here. So it's great to finally be here. <laughs> now as long as we make it home, we'll be good to go. We're going to try a, uh, an original song here. This is one that, uh, that I wrote. So one you can get off a CD we have available. We will have some CDs when we're finished. I don't know where we'll have them set up here, but we'll be uh, somewhere side stage, I'm sure, with, with our CDs available. Um, this song I wrote is called West Virginia Line. That's one of G's. <laughs> so we're going we're to have Ken here kick it off for us. This is the first us playing together. We really want to thank him. Our fiddle player got uh, tied up with a personal uh, matter. He was on his way here and for some reason had to turn around and go home. So I hope everything's all right. Let's give it a try here. Kenny Baker song, one of my favorite fiddle tunes. Kenny Baker is one of my favorite fiddle players of all time. You can take any song and make it into a fiddle tune. That's for sure. This one here is a good old number called The Wheel Hawks.
Well, it seems like they like that banjo picking, Levi. I wonder if have to do, do one of your tunes there. Folks, this is Levi Houston Sanders on the five-string banjo. <laughs> Levi comes to us from uh, over in the, the Blacksville, West Virginia area. Actually, those people. <laughs> the, the people from over in that area, we... The, the, the holler over from where I come from. That's <laughs> uh, it's right outside of Morgantown, Levi comes from. It was strange, too, because uh, we both grew up in the same area and uh, only met uh, a little over a year ago, which is uh, interesting. Uh, Jamie Lynn, my wife, and I had ha have been playing with the Hillbilly Gypsies for, for 16 years this year, and uh, we had a, a major band change, and uh, I was looking for somebody that, that, could, that could pick banjo... Uh, in some way that, that would, would keep the hillbilly gypsy spirit and style alive, and, and we found it in Levi here. And uh, Levi does something that uh, Levi does something that in all the years of, of playing old time and bluegrass music, he does something that I've never had the opportunity to work with, and that's somebody who can play in the Don Reno style of banjo playing. And uh, I think we're going to try one right now. This is an old vaudeville song, probably comes from the 1920s. It, uh, late 1950s, uh, a fellow named Don Reno took and made it into his own banjo style there. And, uh, this one uh, is called Whispering, or maybe more appropriately, Whispering. <laughs> Whispering. There we go.
and had to undergo a couple of surgeries, which kind of put her out, out, of, out of the loop for a little bit. And uh, she's been slowly working her way back in. And then last week she decided to, uh, to go out and rescue a dog. She wanted a companion. And uh, she went out, out west and uh, they had, uh, there's wildfires going on out there. She said, you could not get out of the smoke. So hopefully she's, she's good to sing. This is my beautiful wife, Jamie Lynn.
she went out and rescued a dog. It was in a high kill shelter. Folks, if you're looking for a dog, rescue them. Don't don't pay some breeder. You probably get some dog that's got health problems. You know what I mean? <laughs> Go rescue one. It needs a home. They're stuck in cages everywhere around the country, around the world. <laughs> And I tell you what, you take a dog out of a cage, it will be forever great. I can promise you that. <laughs> We're going to try one again to kick it up a notch here, get Jamie Lynn to sing one. This is an old Carter family tune. Every, uh, every couple of months, we get the wonderful opportunity uh, to, to run down there to Hilton's Virginia and play at the Carter family fold. I don't know. Has anybody been to the Carter Family Fold here? Anybody? Yeah. Oh, there's one. He's excited about it. He said, yeah. It's a great place if you ever get a chance. You know, if, 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 if you love the tradition of, of American traditional music, that's one of the places you need to see uh, and experience. Anyway, the, uh, the Carters were one of the first uh, recording artists of, of, of old-time music. And uh, one of the first touring artists in American music as well. Uh, and uh, they, they brought, a, they preserved a lot of old songs. You know, a lot of people don't realize A.P. Carter uh, didn't necessarily write all those songs. He, he, he lived in a region and he got smart and realized there was a lot of old music that was being played that had been passed down. And he, and he, he took the, the recording equipment of the age and, and recorded those folks and, and cataloged all this music. And then he had the Carter girls sing them. And... Uh, Anyway, this is one of them, one of my favorite Carter tunes. Uh, it, it, it eventually became a real good hard-driving banjo tune as well. This one's called the Foggy Mountain Top.
little song here to say thanks. It's a real short ditty, and then I think we're, we're just going to jump right into a, a short fiddle tune, and uh, both both combined together won't be as long as a, a one song, I don't think. <laughs> I guess that was it. I thought he said two more after that. I'm sorry. Oh, that was, uh, oh okay. I'm sorry. Well, anyway, thank you so much. I guess that was it. We're, we're out of time, so I apologize. Thank you so much.